Okay, so I wanted to give you a bit of a freebie actually. Um, if you are struggling with addictions of any sort, whether that's uh, nicotine addiction for example, or uh, addiction to sugar, uh, any other sort of addiction or any other fear or anxiety that you may have, there are three major stress release points that can actually work with and by tapping on them continuously, it will help to release the stress or the anxiety or the craving or the nervousness. So these points are, the first one is directly underneath your eye, and then a, the second one is directly across your collarbone, so it's just a flat hand across your collarbone point, and then the third one is underneath your arm. So what these are doing is they're working on the major stress release points which are held within the body and they are to do with the stomach and also being able to release the emotion at the same time. So if you were to have a craving, for example, for a cigarette, then you would tune your mind into it and think, okay, how, how intense is the craving? And you may get from a zero to ten, that's usually the rating that we're looking at, so zero is there's no craving at all in ten words. You're absolutely gagging for one. Okay, so then you would be looking at tapping on these points. So if you work with me, so it's tapping underneath your eye, and so this craving for nicotine, so you would say that, take a deep breath in, and then let that go. And you tap across your collarbone again, so this craving for nicotine, and if it's for sugar or for chocolate or, you know, shopping or alcohol or sex or whatever, then just put your own word in, and then tap on that, think about that, and breathe in again, and then let that go. Great, and then underneath the arm is the next one, so you say this craving for a cigarette or for nicotine, take a deep breath in, and let that go. And the whole reason for the breath is you actually release the stress, you release the pressure, you release the tension by breathing, it's a way to just exhale it and let it go. And then you can start again, this craving for a cigarette, and let it go, this craving for a cigarette, let it go. So you can speed it up and do the breath without the breath or it's good to actually be able to bring the breath in and then release it. So if you have nervousness or fear or anxiety, it's the same process. So that's a little quick, a quickie if you like. You know, if you're in a situation where you have the nervousness come up and you think, why the heck am I nervous, you know, take yourself off. Even if you are, say, um, about to go into a meeting, perhaps just excuse yourself, go into the toilet, just do a little bit of tapping this nervousness. You can say it quietly in your mind if there's other people in the other cubicle, or just saying it out loud, this nervousness, this panic, this fear, this nervousness, this pa panic, this fear, take a deep breath, this nervousness, this panic, this fear, and then release it. Now, if you're in a situation where um, there are people around, you can actually just rub that for you, so nobody else needs to know what you're doing, but you're just kind of rubbing and activating that for you. It'll work just the same. If it's even, you want to be more discreet, then there is a process called think tapping, where you actually imagine then that you have your fingers coming up to your face and you're tapping, and add some sound to it as well, because that includes with NLP you need all the sound sights and smells and that kind of thing. So just tap on, imagine tapping on. So boom, 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 boom. I can feel my fingers tapping it. Boom, 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 boom. This fear, this anxiety. Boom, 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 and then just do it like that. So you're actually thinking about it. Okay. So enjoy that and um, keep you posted on your results.